In case of an emergency, egress windows are a must. Greg with West Michigan Glass Block Home Improvement Station is here to explain the different types of egress escape systems they offer and why they are so important for your family's safety. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing great. Now, you've been at this for a very long time. Tell us about your experience. Okay, well, we, uh, we started out actually doing, you know, glass block basement windows mm -hmm. and done a million of those. We've been doing those for over 30 years. Um, but we noticed that a lot of people were leaving one window. They were, like, not doing one window so they could still get out because a glass block window, you, it's, you know, it's, it's solid. Solid, yeah. So um, we realized that they were doing, they wanted to do egress. They wanted an escape window or if you're finishing your basement off or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, but most windows are pretty small. Yeah, and a, an escape window needs to be large enough to get out. So. Sure. So we started doing about 20, 25 years ago, we started doing egress windows as well. Okay. Explain to everybody or show everybody how it all works when okay. it comes to an egress window. All right. Well, an egress window needs to be 5.7 square feet of openable space. So large enough for um, somebody to get out easily, also um, big enough for a uh, fireman with a backpack to get in, you know. It can't be any more than 40 inches off the floor so a child can get out. And then there's different types of windows. Um, we use... Uh, we have a um, casement windows, which is like a crank out. Okay. And then um, we have this window. This is called the, it's the Astro Escape window. It's kind of cool. It looks like a regular double hung window. Actually, it's a single hung because only one, one uh, sash opens. Okay. So you can open it up for ventilation. But if you need to get out, it's got a latch. It's at the bottom of the window so a child can grab it. Okay. It flips open and it swings right open. Easy enough. So it's easy to get out. And what's nice, it swings in instead of swinging out. So if you're if it's the middle of the winter time, you know how we get a lot of snow once in a while. Sure. Um, if the window well is full of snow, if you have a crank out, you're going to have to go out and shovel that snow. Right. This, you can open it up and still get out through there. That's important to note. So people can come to you, and people always wonder, okay, you're going to be digging around my window. How is it going to look when it's all said and done? You guys are very conscious about making it look good. Oh, yeah. Look good and drain well. Um, you know, when we do an egress window, we're going to first, we're going to come outside and we're going to dig a hole. Um, it's going to be about six foot wide, it's about five foot out from the house, mm -hmm. and about six feet deep. So it's a big hole. Um, so, you know, we, we put that, that dirt on a tarp so that we don't ruin your lawn. Sure. Um, and then we install the window and the window well. We backfill, and then we still have some dirt left over that we haul away. Mm -hmm. um, we rake it all out, clean it all up. But we also have to make sure that we have good drainage because we don't want to fill that hole up with water yeah. and flood your basement. Because yeah. you have a big hole in your basement now. Sure. So we have to, and that, that's we spend a lot of time making sure you got the proper drainage. Moving gutters, um, making sure you have gutters, all that type of stuff. I'm sure these are probably easier to install in a home that's being built and, and not one that's already been built, but you have the ability to actually help transform someone's home that maybe they've owned for a while and they've decided to right. do some transformations? Right, oh, definitely. So, I mean, it's going to add a lot of value. If you, I mean, it's not only is it the law, but um, you know, safety reasons. I mean, you know, if you only have the stairs to get out and your house is filled with smoke, you need another, another way to get out. But for value, you know, I mean, if you have a 1,200 square foot home, you, you finish off your basement and you put an egress down there, it doubles your square footage. So. I think people need to realize, they said right now it's a seller's market. So exactly. if you want to be one of the ones that hops to the top of the list, uh, this is something to consider, Definitely right? Definitely helps a lot. All right. Oh, what are a couple of the other services that are really popular that you guys offer or unique? Okay. Well, I mean, we know basements. We, we spend a lot of time in basements. We do egress. We do, uh, you know, the glass block basement windows. We also do um, basement air sealing. So, um, you know, if you're finishing your basement off, the, one of the things you look at is the insulation around, around the rim. Mm -hmm. That's the area that between the basement and the upstairs. Typically, it's just wood or it's got a little bit of insulation. Mm -hmm. We foam that. We seal that all up so that um, that's a lot of square footage that you, you lose a lot of heat through. Your floors are colder and your basement's mm -hmm. colder. Okay. We also um, insulate basement walls. We uh, duct seal, seal all the ducts so that the warm air gets to the right bedroom, you know. So those are, so those are some of the big specialties we do. We also do uh, drainage, a lot of drainage, make sure your basement stays dry. All right, keep you busy with that here in Michigan. So once again, go ahead and reach out to them. With, uh, West Michigan Glass Block is located at 2131 Martindale in Wyoming. Check them out online at WMGB.com or give them a call at 616-243-3700. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a great day. Thanks, you too.